Hey guys, uh, back working on this project again, um, getting into um, objects and things that we want to customize as far as texture painting and um, customizing the look and feel of some of your materials. So I am um, working with this little island right here. I've applied a texture to it. I'll show you this. Um, applied this texture to it. Um, there is a bump up applied to it as well. Um, and so I'm going to kind of preview it real quick. It says certain things aren't going to work right, which is okay. I know about that. I'll get to that later. Um, and so when I take a look at it, got this nice little floating island, got some texture added to it that was brought over from the uh, material um, that I added. Um, if you are don't remember how to get that kind of look and feel with your materials, then check it out. Uh, check out some of the older uh, materials um, tutorials that, that have been posted before. Um, so this is kind of what I like. What I want to do now maybe is go in and add a few little extra details um, to emphasize some of the, the grass growing or the moss or whatnot on this on this object here. So this object's been wrapped, it's been um, mapped and shifted around and what I've done now is it's been turbo smooth. Um, now what I'm going to do is, is take a look at it and I just want to see just that by itself. So um, if you're looking at just working on a single object by itself, you can select it and you can go to isolate your selection. So now here it is all by itself. I don't have to hide everything. Um, that's in the scene. So um, isolate your selection if you really just want to focus on one one thing here. So um, let me close this out. That's just going to get in the way. I've got my island here. Um, what I want to do is um, get into some texture painting. So here's what I'm going to do. Once I've got that unwrapped and mapped and how I want that to look, you decide how what, what faces are best for you. How do you want to map it out? Um, I'm going to go up to Tools, and I'm going to go down to Viewport Canvas, and it brings up this little toolbox here. Looks like a bunch of paintbrushes, and um, has a lot of similarities to um, Photoshop in a way. I'm just going to snap that into place um, because I have brushes, I have erasers, I have clone stamps, I have fills, I have gradients, um, blah 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 blah. I have all these different things, smudges, and. freaked me out. Um, I've got layers, ways that I can rotate layers and, and all sorts of things. Colors, radius, my brush tools. Um, it goes on and on and on. So here's what I want to do. I want to go to um, my, let's go start off with the paintbrush first. I'm going to paint. Um, I can paint straight onto here. I don't want to do that. Um, what I want to do is show my layers dialog um, and this pops up. And this is my base layer. This is what I'm seeing right here. Um, I don't really want to mess with that. I want to add a layer and I want them to start playing around with this. I actually don't want to mess with this one. I don't want this to get um, altered. I will change um, the look of it on the layers above. And as you're working with these layers above, um, uh, let's just do something first. Uh, let's start with the opacity. I want to drop this down. Um, radius, maybe I'll bring that up work with the large light brush. Um, maybe I don't want black, maybe I want um, maybe a greenish color, not that green, maybe something a little bit more earthy. Oh, that's pretty good. And uh, actually, no, I don't like that. Let me find something good here. Let's go down some earthy tones. That's a little better. Get a little bit more brownish. Yeah, I like that. All right, so I've got a nice little earthy green color here. Um, and let's say I want to start brushing. Um, I can start painting on this and start bringing out some some green tones. Um, wow, that's pretty dark or pretty bright. Maybe that's lighter than I want it to be. Um, so I can go back, I can undo it, I can erase, 
straight on this layer without harming my previous layers, right? Um, I can change this, I can make it darker, I can go back and I can I can start painting again right onto my object here. Or I can just undo it. Maybe the opacity is still too much. I want it to go on lighter. Start painting some things on. Um, but maybe I want to try some different effects. Maybe I want to do um, kind of a screen or um, color dodge. You can all of these blending tools look just like Photoshop, really. All the different blending layers that you can work with. So um, as you're painting, you can get your different effects. You can just make it an overlay. And that, I think, is what I prefer for these types of tones. So it's making very subtle changes to it. Um, you can see now I turn on and off that layer. So it made it kind of more green, more lush, and that's what I'm really looking for. I want this top part to be um, the greenest part. Um, and then maybe around the sides, it starts to kind of fade off. The moss is kind of hanging onto the rock, maybe not, um, not uh, as thick as what it would be on this top layer here. So you can play around with the different layers here. You can um, add layers on top and kind of get into mixing if you like that kind of thing in Photoshop. It's pretty cool. Um, and you can also, if, like, hey, I'm brushing over here, but I'm noticing it's also brushing somewhere else. Um, and that could be due oh, to painting on this layer here. This is a 2D paint view. Um, if you wanted to really focus on just one part of your uh, your object, then you can uh, paint just specifically on certain parts on this 2D map without getting in the way of other parts of your of your object here. So you can kind of work on this, and you'll see that. Let's see where I'm painting here. You know, if I start painting up here, you can paint directly on this, and it's going to start to affect the way that this looks. I might not be on the right area. Um, so I might not be able to see exactly where I'm at here. No, I haven't started painting on this side. It must be on the other side. And so um, you can kind of map it out how you want, paint just on specific parts of your texture here or of your, of your object rather than painting 3D. So if you want to paint 2D on kind of more laid out flat method, this is where you can do it. Otherwise, you can paint directly on the object. You can spin it around say, hey, I want to paint here. I want some more moss here. And you can start to do that. And so how you paint your objects, how you want to play around with this and add textures, maybe you want to add more details, that's fine. You can do that. <coughs> but you'll see here I can sell the, the differences that I'm making um, in my in my object. So when I go to render them, whoa, where am I at there? Oh, it's because I'm isolated. It looks weird. Um, let's see. Let's say I'm done painting. I can save, um, I can flatten the layers and just save it as it is. Um, basically what that'll do is save it as your, as your object here. You can save your um, texture as a Photoshop file and <clears throat> and replace that in your material so you can have a very customized material um, ready to go in your material editor in 3DS. Um, so you have different different things that you can do here. Um, I'm going to flatten these layers and make it permanent to my file here. Um, and when I go to check it out, I can see the changes, the, how much more green this looks, and how I've added little touches of green around the sides here. So this is a pretty um, fun, it's good for the people that like to really get hands on with your textures. Uh, sometimes I know um, things don't map out the way you want them to. Maybe those shadows, those that moss didn't land exactly where you wanted it to. I can go back here and add some more moss kind of hanging on the top side of this little bump here. 
um, and kind of fill it out how you want it to. So it's all about the quality and the look that you're trying to achieve is how much you want to um, manipulate your, your textures here. So um, have fun with this, a nice little fun tool that you can work with. Um, you can play around with these different tools with different layers and um, customize them how you, how you like. So um, good luck with that and have fun.